before you buy your next new tractor, ask someone who really knows about reliability, durability, and proven field performance. Ask an owner. I'm Keith Rawson. I live in Portland, Arkansas, farm about eight miles west of Portland. My dad and I farm together. We farm about 1,700 acres of cotton, around 750 acres of soybeans, and around 200 acres of rice. Uh, we have five Magnum tractors. Uh, they're you know, vital to us, but if they don't run, we don't get a crop planted. And like I said, we're on the end of it right now. Uh, our tractors are multi-purpose. We use them to disc with, cultivate, you know, plant with, hit with, you know, just all number of things that we, we do with our tractors. Here, like I said, you can run into different types of soil here in Arkansas. You have sand, you know, and heavy clay that runs pretty much in this area. This here is sand, and it can be, like I said, when it gets dry like this and you dissed it one time, you can just cut up to the disc axle. It gets real mellow and tends to push up with you. You need a lot of power to make it go ahead and sift out. The speed splits in the working range have accommodated us and conditions that we're in, like in field conditions, whether you're heavy or wet, or you're able to downshift and still continue on or upgrade and make a little better time in them. On our, mostly on our front wheel assist tractors, our 7140s and our bigger tractors like that, we put around anywhere from 500 to 600 hours a year. And then we have a 7120 and 7130 and usually mostly plant and cultivate with, and I'd say it would fall in between the 400 and 500 range hours. Each year they seem like they come out with a bigger and better tractor, it seems like. Uh, the transmission, the power shift, the lift, the, and all that is, and the, the cab, it's, it's just good. Uh, you can see off of it, uh, it's easy access to get up onto the, the tractor, the steps and all, getting in front of the seat. Uh, the seats, it's, it seems like they get better, more comfortable ride every year. And on the hydraulic system, like the easy hookups at the back like that are convenient. Seeing the Magnum out and you know, watching it demonstrate and seeing the power and the potential that the tractor had and just sold us on it. And plus a good dealership here. I would just, you know, I'd sell it to another person because I believe in the Magnum and it's performed well. Eight years, over 50,000 tractors, and more than 65 million hours of hard labor across fields and farms throughout the world. That's the type of proven track record that inspires loyalty. Magnum loyalty. And when you take a close look at the 7200 series Magnum, you'll know why. The heart of the Magnum tractor, the big, proven 505 cubic inch Magnum diesel, remains the definition of pure agricultural power. Let's look at what happens when the Magnum hits a tough spot while operating at maximum rated horsepower. As engine RPMs drop, your power actually grows above and beyond the tractor's rated horsepower. Bringing all that power to life is a proven 18-speed full power shift transmission, which gives you complete control of 18 forward and four reverse speeds, and the ability to shift between any of them on the go without clutching. And if you utilize demanding PTO implements, our power shift creeper option gives you control of a total of 24 forward speeds. Each upshift delivers a uniform half mile per hour increase in speed, and seven of those speeds are in the critical working range of three to eight miles per hour. So whatever your field condition or task may be, there's always a perfect gear to match. The inner strength of the transmission is the industry's first modulated wet master clutch, which provides smooth shifting and unparalleled durability. The mechanical front drive option, standard on the 7250, lets you utilize the entire working weight of the tractor to give you more traction up front, while minimizing compaction. Magnum now features a new multi-mode MFD with three different settings, on for continuous operation in tough or muddy conditions, alternate on that disengages upon braking for the tightest possible turns, and off, which still functions for four-wheel braking during transport. The Magnum MFD is integrated into the design of the frame and transmission, with no U-joints to compromise reliability or require servicing. The working end of the Magnum is in a class by itself. The PTO features a heavy-duty multi-plate wet clutch for smooth engagement to handle your toughest jobs with ease. And on the 7210 and 7220 models, you'll find dual shaft 540 and 1000 RPM PTOs standard. Case pressure flow compensated hydraulics are more responsive to your commands, yet require less horsepower. 
That's because they adjust to both pressure and flow requirements, giving them the speed and capacity to meet today's most demanding hydraulic needs. And an electronic hitch system combines brute strength with computerized technology, so you can precisely control load, travel, response speed, position, and drop rate for optimal performance of any mounted equipment. Plus, the innovative hitch command feature lets you raise and lower your implement to a preset depth with the touch of a finger. Step into a Magnum cab and you'll discover the true meaning of luxury. Inside, you'll discover an optional deluxe air suspension seat that redefines operator comfort. Over 10 quick and easy seat adjustments put you right where you want to be, allowing you to sit back and relax even during 12-hour workdays. It's in the details that the Magnum cab really shines, however, with features like large, easy-to-read controls, a convenient wiring access panel, optional monitor mounting brackets for the right-hand cab posts, and an intelligence center that puts information on every important function right in front of you. But the most impressive feature of the cab may be the view. Over 47 square feet of glass gives you a sweeping visibility that's free from hood obstructions. Recognized by Fortune magazine as one of America's 100 best products, the Magnum is truly built for the business of farming. Now it's time to see this technology put to the test as we move to the fields and feedlots of Central Iowa. Our farming operation consists of uh, about 1,200 acres, corn, soybeans. We farrow to fish uh, hogs and we uh, raise feeder cattle. Most of the corn we raise, we do feed to our hogs and our cattle. Soybeans are a cash crop. The thing we like most about the Magnums is the comfort of the cab. Being 6'5", and some of the older tractors that we've had, my knees are used to hit the dash. And this one here, they, they don't even come close, plus I have room to stretch my legs out fully when I'm sitting in the seat. Now just that little extra movement in the cab, you know, through the day just kind of helps fight fatigue a little bit. And especially when you're working with something that you're pulling, you know, you're always turning around looking behind you. And this cab here, plus the seat, gives you that little extra mobility to where you're not feeling like you're in a little cramped space all the time. Well, in spring tillage, when we're working ground that's rough and that seat that just floats, you know, you're just like a freightliner. The old cabs, you know, you come out all day in there, your ears would be ringing, your head would hurt. This, you know, you just jump out of the cab and, you're, and it's dust free, it's clean, and your ears aren't ringing. You know, with the front window larger and that side window larger, you, know, you just almost act like you're sitting outside, the view is so good. We still do a lot of conventional tillage. We put a plow on the ground in the fall, and with that power shift transmission, you can, uh, your torque is there, and all you do is just step her up until you find the right speed, and it doesn't, lose, it doesn't skip a beat. It just keeps on going. But no clutching, changing gears in the field is a big plus. It really speeds your, you can really get a lot more acres done in a day. Yeah, you can start in the, the lower gears and work it up without straining the tractor, the clutches. And... We've had absolutely no clutch problems. Yeah. Most years we cut, oh, maybe up to 2,000 ton of silage. And to have that automatic transmission on the cutter has really been an aid. If you take a look at it, compare it, it's, it's beefier. I mean, it's there to take the punishment, the abuse you're going to give it day in and day out. Cab comfort, visibility, it's proved itself. You the Magnum it has proved itself. You bet it has. Yeah, it's or they wouldn't stuff. be here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't own if it didn't prove they so. They wouldn't be here. Inviting you to ask an owner is the best way for you to learn more about Magnum tractors. We should know because that's the way we do business. Each year, teams from Case IH travel hundreds of miles down country roads to perform quality audits on our tractors. Here, representatives from engineering, manufacturing, and product support get up close and personal with these Magnum tractors and their owners in their actual working environments. During a quality audit, each tractor is inspected literally from top to bottom. Engine systems are checked for performance and reliability. Transmission controls and linkages get checked for precise operation, while seals are closely examined for oil leaks. Hydraulics get tested for responsiveness, while the final drives get checked over to ensure continued reliability. And the cabs are thoroughly inspected to make sure that all controls and instruments are working properly, so that over time the operator's environment remains quiet and comfortable. 
From these quality audits, the teams can see for themselves how the Magnum tractors hold up under real-world conditions. They can then diagnose any potential problems and correct them through improvements in design or assembly. But the most valuable information we gain is from the owners themselves. They tell us how the tractors are being used and what adjustments they make out in the field, as well as their personal likes and dislikes. And when owners talk, we listen. Several improvements on the 7200 series resulted directly from previous audits. These include the addition of external hitch switches that make equipment hookups more convenient, new hydraulic couplers that are easier to connect and disconnect under pressure, and sculpted sides on the hood of the tractor that permit tighter row crop turns on MFD equipped models. Quality audits are another way we have of listening to Magnum owners. And now it's time to listen to yet another as we travel north to the wheat country of Alberta, Canada. I'm Kelly Wood and we farm in Karsten, Alberta, Canada, the southwest corner of Alberta. We're in the rolling hills. We have 4,700 acres that we continuously farm with wheat, barley, canola is usually our crop rotation. The main reason we got the 7250 was because of, the, of a heavy harrow that we purchased last spring because of the, the amount of straw and stubble that we had to work down. This harrow is, has a half inch tine that you can put direct pressure onto. We had a tractor that put out about 195, 185 horsepower and it wasn't enough in these hills uh, to pull it. We started looking around at different tractors and uh, tried um, some of the other brands uh, at the same time with this particular Harrow. And uh, they brought the case out and I was really impressed with the pulling capability of it. Um, you can see the hills that we've got here and that 70 feet of Harrow pulls really hard. Uh, the case will pull it up most of these hills at the five, six miles an hour with no problem. The front wheel assist uh, option really makes a difference in the pulling and the, uh, the lugging power of the tractor. Um, when we first were introduced to the Magnum, I did a lot of driving it the way I used to do any tractor with clutch and slow taking out and being careful. And our dealer said, hey, just drive it. And so that's what we started doing and pulling the grain cart, uh, pulling anything. I use the clutch for hooking up to equipment. Other than that, uh, the clutch doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned. And the transmission holds up. When you're pulling that grain cart and it holds about 700 bushel up and down these hills and you're shifting that gear, you've got to have a transmission behind you. And uh, it, it's holding up. It's, this is the second year for the grain cart and have been very happy with it. We've had really excellent dealer support out here and that's probably the main reason that we have, uh, have continued to stay in case. Um, anytime we've had any troubles or need anything, a phone call away and, and people are hopping. They're, uh, they want to keep you running. Most of the equipment we've had, we've, we've had it around for a while and it's proven itself. And once it proves itself, I stay with it. The Magnums, like I say, we've had for four years. We've had no trouble with them. They've had the horsepower that we've wanted. Um, they've got the torque and the power that we've needed. And once you find something you kind of like, you stay with it. To demonstrate the rugged durability of the Magnum, Case IH engineers routinely disassemble and study tractors with high hours. We call it the 10,000 hour teardown. The tractors we take apart are put through the toughest tests, like the year-round heat and blowing sand at our Arizona proving grounds. It's here that our engineers get a real feel for tractor torture. During the teardown, the entire machine is painstakingly disassembled and analyzed for wear and stress. As we'll hear from Case IH senior project engineer George Vader, these Magnum tractors do indeed stand up to the most brutal conditions. As we look closely at the bevel pinion, we find just a slight amount of distress on the teeth. This is very minor wear for a machine that's been loaded down continuously for over 10,000 hours. We found basically no wear on the clutch plates, especially when you compare them to the new ones you see here. As we examine a gear from the transmission, we find basically no distress at all. Likewise, the sun gear teeth exhibit only minor distress. 
They are in excellent working condition and will be put right back into place. Both the 10,000 hour teardown and the quality audits are examples of our ongoing commitment to improving the quality and service of our products. A commitment that's building Magnum loyalty. What's it like to run a Magnum tractor in the heat and stress of the Arizona desert? For that answer, it's best to ask an owner. My name is Danny Collins, and uh, I work with Royal Packing Company of Yuma, Arizona. We farm about 2,300 acres, and uh, mostly in the wintertime, it's all produce, lettuce, romaine, uh, mixed lettuce, and then after that, we go into wheat and safflower. Uh, here, we're very uh, dependent on timing schedules. We've done uh, tests with other tractors, and every time we go back and we put the heavier work on the 7250 because it will go ahead and do the job and it will pull the chisel faster the way we need the chisel pulled here to the, the depth that we want it, and it will do it faster, and it won't burn as much fuel. With your extra horsepower on the top end with your governor kicking in, it manages to hit into that hard spot and it will go ahead and kick that governor in and pull through it instead of bogging down like most tractors. Very good fuel economy. Uh, they're a lot better as far as fuel economy and the, the competition that I've seen. Yeah, they're really easy to work on. Uh, you can service them in a matter of just a few minutes. Uh, Everything is really easy to get to. The drain plug, uh, where you put the oil in, it's real simple. Raise up the hood or fold out the side. They're on the, on the door side and you open it and there's everything's there where you can check the oil, put the oil in. Like down here in the middle of August, uh, June, July, August, we run from temperatures to 100 to 115, up to sometimes even 120 degrees. And uh, the air conditioner in this 7250 keeps you cool. As you've seen in some of our operations around here, it's very, very dusty. And uh, as long as we keep our filters clean and blow that cab out once a day, they stay nice inside. You can get inside there and, and uh, just ride around in it and it, it really doesn't get any dirt on you or nothing. When a real push is on to prep the ground, we work them uh, 20 hours a day. We work from six in the morning until four in the afternoon and then the night shift comes on at four in the afternoon and works until two at night. And that guy at night really needs to be able to see and with the lighting that it has on there, you can drive by the field and you can see that tractor out there and it almost looks like a city. It does the work faster, it does the work more efficient, I can cross my fields faster no matter what operation I'm doing with this tractor faster than I can do with other tractors and I have tried them. Uh, and that's why you see all red tractors at Royal Packing. The Magnum Tractor. After thousands of owners and millions of hard hours, farmers around the world are convinced. This tractor makes a difference. Reliable, durable, Powerful, most of all, proven. If you want to know more, ask your dealer. Better yet, ask an owner. This video has been brought to you by Case IH and your Case IH dealer. Be sure to stop in and learn more about the entire line of quality Case IH equipment designed to maximize your yields from seedbed preparation to planting, cultivating, and harvesting. You'll make the most of your equipment investment with Case IH, an equipment line that includes a complete line of tractors, hay and forage equipment, grain drills, and cotton equipment.